Back here in the First United Bank studio for another edition of Ballin' Out. Choice Woodman, Jeff Haxton with you. And postseason Ballin' Out, you got a new coach finally in Lubbock. Felt like it took a long time. Texas Tech was the last of the Power Fives to hire a new coach uh, as, as far as the coaching vacancies go. But Grant McCaslin in Lubbock, so far so good. Seems like a pretty good fit here, but... <laughs> it's it's going to be a long time until we actually know that. Well, and now your next steps are okay. We got to get the the staff yeah. straightened out, and we got to be on the lookout for the best that's in the portal. And there's a lot sure. that's in the portal. There's two big time players that are from North Texas that are in the portal. So lots of work to do. This won't slow down for him. It'll actually speed up because. Um, you know the, how this world spins. It oh, won't yeah. be long and it'll be summer when you're supposed to be working with your team. So staff construction and getting a team together is uh, your priorities one and two right now. As we sit here and record this right now, uh, there, there's a lot of movement, a lot of changes when it comes to players, who could be back, who's not. Bacho's in the portal now. Uh, you've got several other guys that are kind of flirting with that. When There's a few that are for sure not coming back, a couple that are for sure not coming back, but it's still kind of wide open on figuring that out. And and that's a lot to juggle for Coach McCaslin and whoever his staff is going to be. And what you have to remember, too, is you. this might not be just player decision. This can yeah. be, uh, hey, thank you for your contributions around <laughs> here. Sure. Um, there's a lot of other places out there we'd like for you to explore that, and we'll help you as much as we can. Yeah. Or there is that true, I'm not happy here, I don't want to play for this new coach, I'm going to move on. So right. we really don't know what those are, but those are some of the way, some of the options that happen with these players. And so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who's left over from last year. And, and this portal thing is really hot the last couple of years, but we've seen it in Lubbock, I mean, kind of out in front of it five, six years ago. Uh, Lubbock was, or Texas Tech was, was you know, blazing the trail for that so we, we kind of know how this goes we probably won't know what the exact roster is until next semester until until the fall i mean until you see them on campus in september we really won't know what this is really going to look like i would say by july you'll know what most of it looks like sure. and then you'll have the opportunity for right. the little sprinkling in of an addition or two maybe in those fall months. So a lot still to be determined, but Grant McCaslin uh, seems to be some of the fans have latched on to and, and uh, looking forward to, to year one coming up under Grant McCaslin. So there's another edition of Ballin' Out with Jeff Axon. I'm Choice Woodman.